Hello, come on into this exam room, take a seat. My name is Lee and I am a medical assistant and I will be checking you in for today's appointment. So, if you wouldn't mind confirming your first and last name for me. Thank you, and then date of birth. Okay, awesome. I have your account pulled up. Any changes to insurance, pharmacy, and primary contact? Okay. Awesome. Thank you. All right. And what brings you into the clinic today? Okay. Your recent episode of unprotected intercourse. Last night, All right? So you want emergency contraception? You want to know your options? Okay. Absolutely, yes. We would be more than happy to go over those with you. Now, were you interested in birth control following that? Now, of course, with some options regarding emergency contraception, they actually are birth control. Um, but, uh, if you opt for like an oral medication, like a plan B, um, would you want to get started on birth control following that? The pill that you were previously on? Okay. Do you need counseling regarding that prior birth control pill or you remember the side effects and the risks? Okay. All right, well, let me take some vital signs for you here, and then we'll get everything going for you. Leanna, the PA will be in to kind of give you all of the options that you have as far as emergency contraception, and I will make sure to let her know that you want to get back on your birth control pill if you opt for like a plan B or Ella prescription. Awesome. All righty. So let me get your patient chart here. Perfect, perfect. So we are just going to start with the usual blood pressure and temperature. You're probably sick of me doing it at this point, but yeah. I mean, it's a beautiful day today, so I'm in very high spirits. And you are too. We both seem to get affected by the weather a little bit. All right, I'll stop talking. You can rest your feet flat on the floor. We'll actually go with this arm today. Have any plans later today at all? Okay. Well, we are a state park. It is literally the perfect day to do that. Okay. I'll just take this off here since I don't have to wear it. here and then we'll get the temperature. What was that? You do 
you want Felesti ice cream while, we're, while you're here? Absolutely, yeah. Did you want her to do like a pelvic exam and obtain it through a vaginal swab? Absolutely, no, that's great. And did you want blood testing as well for hepatitis, syphilis, and HIV? Awesome. All right. So we'll have Leanna the PA collect both of those for you. And then I'm just going to ask you for a year and sample them, if that's okay. Yes, we'll do that after the temperature. All right. You know what? Do you want me to do your blood draw? So we can just get that over with before you see her and the last thing you'll have to do is the pelvic. Yes, I'm qualified, I promise you. I'm actually really good at it. Arguably, I feel like you'd rather get it done with me. <laughs> awesome, yes. So I'll do that for you then. And then Lena the PA will come in. You know, she's got enough to do. Counseling, giving you the birth control pill, giving you whatever emergency contraceptive you want. All right, underneath the tongue. So come in to pick up the office. Uh, looks like garbage. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Temperature's great. my supplies. I didn't like get to do this today. Alright, so grab the tape. Got the bandage, the swabs, perfect. Awesome. Let me put some gloves on. Do you have a preference in what arm? I'm gonna just do this one. And to confirm, you understand the labs we're drawing, which is hepatitis, syphilis, and HIV. Okay. All right. Draws are already done. All right, guys, absolutely. All right, let me kind of clean up this area here. I will be sure to send those out to the lab for you. Let me put your name on this specimen container here. I will leave this for you. You can use the bathroom. Uh, before you get undressed if you want, I will make sure to leave a drape for you as well and you'll just get undressed waist down for the STI screening with the vaginal swab and then um, Leanna the PA will talk about what form of emergency contraceptive would be best for you. Oh, yeah, it was my pleasure. I'll give you some privacy. Alrighty, it is nice to see.
see you today. Well, even medical assistant just got done telling me that you wanted some um, STI screening. So we got your blood work, got a urine sample, and we will be doing a vaginal vaginitis swab. Okay, are you having any itching, odor, or anything like that? Right, and she was telling me you recently had episode of unprotected intercourse last night. Um, are you familiar with the different emergency contraceptive options out there? Yes, that is exactly what I'm here for. So how about we finish off the infection screening? Are you okay with like a full pelvic where we look on the outside, look on the inside of the speculum? That's what you wanted? All right, no problem at all. Um, so with that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm um, just going to start by looking on the outside. We'll get the testing over with, and then I'll talk to you about the options you have. Awesome. So I am just going to put this here, and then you'll feel my hand starting at the leg here. You're okay? Good. All right. Just looking on the outside. I don't see any suspicious moles or bumps, which is good. Sam is normal. I'm gonna put some lubricant on the speculum here. Alright. You are gonna feel my hands right at the opening. Now you're gonna feel that internal pressure with the speculum. Give a quick look in there. I'm going to do the swab testing for you. Okay. All right, excellent. So you have infection screening today. My job is to tell you that technically the only thing you won't be getting screened for today is herpes as you're not having symptoms of a herpes outbreak. All right, I'm going to take this out for you. Did you want me to do the manual exam with my glove to make sure you're not tender? While you're here, no problem. No problem at all. All right, let me put some lubricant down. You're going to feel some pressure here. No pain, right? Good. Yeah, I don't feel any enlargements or masses. Okay, excellent. All right, let me get you covered up here. You comfortable if we talk like this? Um, let me take these off. So emergency contraception. You, we can basically break it down in three categories, kind of, depending on how you look at it. So basically the most effective emergency contraceptive option out there would be an IUD. Did you know IUDs for emergency contraceptives? Yes, they are fast acting course reversible meaning you can remove it at any time but the paraguard or the non-hormonal iud and the hormonal iud both act as emergency contraception now why you may ask would someone opt for an iud over maybe like a plan b pill or an ella prescription and that is because the iud is the only form of emergency contraception that is not impacted by someone's bmi or their weight so in patients with higher BMI, it is thought that the Plan B or even Ella prescription may have reduced efficacy, whereas the IUDs will not be impacted by the weight of the patient as far as how well they work. And so that is just something to keep in mind. Now, I know we've had contraceptive counseling in the past and IUDs were not your favorite choice, which I respect, 
So I wanted you to know that IUDs are an option, but whether or not you want to go with an IUD today is totally up to you. Yes, yeah. So you're thinking more of a plan B pill. All right, no problem at all. So let's go over then uh, the pill options that you have. So I'm going to also write this stuff down for you, just so you have it. So as far as emergency contraception, I'm going to break it down into three general options. The first one, the most effective, the IUDs, being that they have no um, reduced effectiveness based off of a patient's weight. So you can do the hormonal or the non-hormonal, but you do not want the IUDs. So then the next option you have would be an oral prescription, and that could be either, you know, your plan B prescription or Ella, which is a prescription that I send through the pharmacy. Now, what are the differences between the two of these? Plan B, of course, is available over the counter, so it's a lot more accessible to patients, maybe even cheaper perhaps, but Plan B you have to take within three days of unprotected intercourse. Whereas with the prescription Ella, you can take it for up to five days after unprotected intercourse, and it is thought to be more effective than Plan B in those who have a higher BMI. Correct, yes. Now we do have free Plan B samples, just so you know. Um, and in someone with your current BMI, either one would be a reasonable option, considering that the last time you had unprotected intercourse was yesterday or last night, wasn't it? Exactly. So that's something to consider. Now with plan B, of course, you can get some side effects associated with it. The plan B, you have to remember, is a hormone, right? It's a high dose hormone pill. And the way it works is it delays or prevents ovulation, meaning that let's say you were about to ovulate, that plan B pill would kind of delay it by a few days. And so something that's good to note, though, is that it will never prevent an already existing pregnancy. So if you already ovulated or you already have implantation, um, this is not an abortion pill. This will not terminate a pregnancy that is already existing. Yes. Yeah. Now, common side effects of Plan B, I find, could include nausea, vomiting, headaches, um, basically a lot of symptoms that you may get when you first start a birth control pill. You may get irregular bleeding, and typically what will happen with the oral emergency contraceptive options is your period may de be delayed by a week. And so we would expect your cycle to have turned in approximately three weeks. Now, if it's been a whole month and you still haven't had your period, I would definitely take a pregnancy test. Yes, yeah. Does all of that make sense? Yes, breast tenderness can also happen. So irregular bleeding or spotting, nausea, vomiting, headaches, and breast tenderness, I would say are probably the most common side effects you may get after taking a Plan B prescription. Oh yeah, and I'll definitely provide you with some patient education at checkout. So for you, we have, um, I'll give you a backup one. Now, of course, of course, my job is to tell you always use protection when having intercourse, especially with new partners. Oftentimes with sexually transmitted infections, most people will be asymptomatic or have absolutely no symptoms. So please practice safe sex practices. And then I will give you um, a plan B prescription. Of course, it's one pill. You don't take this one. This is just because we have extra refills and you can use it in the event that this just so happens to happen again. Yes, exactly. And um, Lee, the medical assistant, was also telling me that you wanted to get re-prescribed your birth control pill. So what will happen is you'll take the plan B, and then tomorrow you can get started on your pill. Um, if you were to take the Ella prescription that I would have sent to your pharmacy, we would have had to wait a little bit before giving you a birth control pill. But with plan B, you can start birth control immediately after. Yep. All right. So we're going to leave you with the plan B. 
I have a sample packet of the birth control pills that are on, so I'll give that to you. And then I will be sure to send some refills into your pharmacy for you to last you the year. Of course, any questions, concerns regarding the birth control pill that you may have forgotten from your last um, visit with counseling, you just let me know. No, it's my pleasure. This is my job. This is what I'm here for. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. If you have any questions, just give me a call. Absolutely. All right, I'll give you some privacy to get dressed.